Hi, today we're going to read you this. So enjoy! Journey to Jerusalem. Jesus and his disciples were walking to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. When they were nearly there, Jesus sent two of his friends for a donkey. He told them to tell the owner that he needed it. The disciples did as they were asked and brought the donkey to Jesus. As he rode into Jerusalem, people saw Jesus coming and covered the path with their garments and palm leaves. They shouted, Hosanna! And Jesus in the King. Judas betrays Jesus. Most people were very happy, but this did not include some of the priests who were jealous of Jesus. They did not like it that ordinary people liked him so much. They wanted an excuse to arrest Jesus and kill him. Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, went to them in secret and told them he would betray him. The priests and elders gave Judas 30 pieces of silver. From then on, he waited for his chance to get Jesus into trouble. The Last Supper. Jesus sat down to a meal with his 12 friends. He looked very sad. His friends asked him, What is the matter? He told them he would have to go away the next day to be with his father in heaven. Jesus' friends were sad then too. The disciples said they would not let anything happen to him. Jesus told them that one of them had already taken money to betray him. They all looked at each other. Jesus stood up and walked out. The Last Supper Jesus told his friends about the people in Jerusalem who did not like him and that the next day he would be arrested and nailed to a cross. So that they would remember him, Jesus broke some bread and said, This is my body. Take it and eat it and remember me. Then he took a cup of wine and told them that it was his blood. They should drink it and remember him. Praying as Gethsemane. At Gethsemane. Jesus and his friends walked to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus was very sad and asked Peter, James and John to watch over him while he prayed. As he prayed, his friends fell asleep as they were very tired. Just then, Judas arrived with many men who carried swords. They had been sent by the priests to arrest Jesus. Betrayed with a kiss. Judas went up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. This was Judas's way of picking out Jesus to the soldiers. Straight away, two of the guards seized Jesus. Peter drew his sword and cut off the ear of one of these men. Jesus told him he should not have done that. He touched the man and his ear was healed. The disciples were afraid and ran for their lives. Peter's denial. 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 Earlier, Jesus had predicted that his disciples would betray him. Peter said this was not possible. Jesus explained, Before the cock cries at dawn, you will have disallowed, disowned. disowned me three times. Peter had replied, Never. Jesus, now under arrest, was being questioned by the Jewish council. As Peter watched from a distance, Peter, people asked if he was a friend of Jesus. Three times he denied knowing him. Suddenly, the cock crowed and he cried as he recalled Jesus' words. The trial of Jesus. 
The Jewish leaders wanted Jesus to be guilty. They found it difficult to find anything that he had done wrong, even though they paid people to lie about him. Eventually, they asked him if he was the son of God. Jesus, Jesus replied, replied, I am. This was enough. They said this was an insult to God. Jesus was taken before Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. Pilate washes his hands. The chief priests who wanted Jesus to die persuaded the people to set free a murderer called Barabbas. Pilate asked what he should do with Jesus, known as the king of the Jewish Jews. Jews. Crucify him, shouted the people. Pilate asked, why? What has he done? The people continued to shout. Pilate calls for a bowl of water and let everyone see him washing his hands for sending an innocent man to his death. He ordered that Barabbas be freed instead. The crown of thorns. The soldiers took Jesus away, removed his clothes and dressed him in a purple robe. On his head, they placed a crown of thorns. Mocking him, they knelt down before him and said, Hail, King of the Jewish Jews. Jews. As the blood ran down his forehead, they made fun of him. Jesus never said a word. Then they took him away and laid a heavy wooden cross on his back. Carry the cross. Jesus was made to carry the cross out of the city gate and up a nearby hill. On the way, some of the crowd cheered. Others wept. On top of the hill, Jesus was put on the cross and nails were put through his hands and feet. The cross was raised up. Two robbers were also put on crosses, one on either side of Jesus. One of the robbers was feeling very afraid. Jesus spoke to him and comforted him. Jesus is crucified. Jesus' mother watched him on the cross. He called to one of his friends to look after her now. Many people in the crowd were cruel. They said, You saved other people. Why don't you save yourself now? At noon, darkness fell on the land. It lasted a few hours. Jesus cried aloud, My God, my God, why have you abandoned, abandoned. me? Abandon me. In the sadness and the dark, Jesus died. Taken off the cross. At the moment Jesus died, the earth shook. One of the soldiers who had been keeping guard said, this man was the son of God. Many people began to feel afraid. Some of the friends of Jesus and his mother waited for permission from Pontius Pilate to take Jesus down from the cross. They laid the body in a tomb cut in the rock. The tomb was sealed with a large stone. Rising from the dead. Two days later, a friend of Jesus, known as Mary Magdalene, went to the tomb. She was astonished to find that the huge stone had been moved and the body had gone. She ran to tell Peter and John, who only found burial sheets in the tomb. Mary, weeping, was approached by a man she did not know, who asked her why she was crying. She explained that it was because they had taken her Lord away. The man... Jesus, risen from the dead. Jesus is a lie. Believing him to be the gardener, Mary asked him if he knew where Jesus' body had been taken. Jesus said, Mary, it is I. Mary was full of joy. Jesus told her to tell his friends that she had seen him and that he would soon be with his father in heaven. Mary ran back to tell all the friends their news. 
At first, not everyone believed her. The disciples see Jesus. Jesus appeared to the disciples several times. Once, when they had been fishing on the Sea of Galilee, he called to them from the shore. He asked them if they had caught many fish. They replied, nothing. Jesus told them to drop their nets on the right side of the boat. They did this. And when they pulled in their nets, they were full of fish. It was only then that they realised that the man was Jesus. They came ashore and had a meal of fish with him. The, the Ascension. Later, Jesus spoke to all of the disciples, telling them that once he had left them, they would receive the power of the Holy Spirit. He wanted them to spread the word of God throughout the world. Jesus was then taken up to heaven. Two angels appeared and told his friends not to be sad because one day Jesus, Jesus would return. Well, we hope you enjoyed our Easter story, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we wish you a very happy Easter. Yeah. Lots of health. Yeah. Lots of love. More health while you're eating chocolate. Health while you're eating chocolate, yeah. Unhealthy health. Yeah. Uh, and happiness. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye-bye.